Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 9. In this video, I am going to explain about the table function concept in CDS view. I have divided this table function concept into two parts, part 1 and part 2 because it has a huge functionality to be covered. In the first part, I am going to explain why table function and what are the uh, technical methodologies are available in table function and how to create a simple table function okay so these are going to cover in this video so let me explain one by one the first one is why table function so here uh, table function is generally for it's going to add the functionalities additional functionalities which is not supported in the CDS view CDS view is not able to support most of the uh, SQL place or SQL area so for that we need additional functionalities for example I want to display the current date I want to uh, calculate the date from the current date like like I want to previous 10 days I want I want after 10 days from the current date so I want to perform some SQL uh, calculations with the help of SQL functions so that is not able to or that is not able to support by CDS in that scenario we need a table function so mostly if you go with any complex scenarios we achieved in the CDS we just going to touch with the table function only. It's a simple CDS, just join between two views or two uh, tables, then normal CDS is fine. But if it is going to be a little more complex, you want to achieve everything uh, in your CDS itself. My Meaning, you don't want to um, uh, do the application manipulation, like after taking the data, do a loop and everything. I don't want to do it with the help of application layer or with the help of ABAP programming. So in that scenario, we need to go with table function okay so mostly we are going to write all the kind of SQL statements for our business requirement and I'm going to write the SQL script functions and methodologies with the help of table functions so table function is nothing but is a place where you can write a SQL means next level of or additional codings to fulfill your business requirement that is nothing but a table function so it's very simple okay so next uh, table function design how the table function designs like a table function has an input parameters so you can create a table function with input parameters depends on your requirement so it, it is actually optional if you want you can have an input parameter otherwise you can create a table function without input parameter as well and if you create a table function it needs to return some values so you, you have a table function and uh, for example uh, the production order so some values to be returned okay to the table function return to the table function so how we can achieve the uh, return parameters to the table function we'll see a little later and the return parameters can have multiple records can accommodate multiple records it's not only one record or few values it can accommodate multiple records so very technically i can say internal table kind of internal table so more than one record also you are able to pass in the return parameters and you, uh, you need a class and methods to define custom class and methods to define the table function functionalities so in that the class should be public and the method should be static this is mandatory otherwise you will get a uh, very proper syntax error so for this you have to define a static method this should be a public class only okay and uh, the finally you need to include an interface standard interface called if amdp marker HTB HANA database so this is very important to support your table function clear so these are the very basic uh, design of table functions Okay, input parameters it has return parameters and it needs a custom class and methods to define an interface to be included in your table function means in your class and methods okay so the next one is uh, it's a little more um, designed to understand okay so you we have three steps actually I divided this into three steps step one I have to create the table function I'm going to create a table function my table function uh, is going to return a production order details production order number production order type from a u f k table nothing much okay here i'm not going to include any sql uh, statements or sql functionalities we'll see very detailed sql functions in the part two video and step two i'm going to create a class and methods for the table function okay while creating a table function i'm going to give a name or define a name for the class and methods still is not created just a name a custom name for my class and what is a method from where the data is going to come to my table function or from where 
technically i can say from where the return parameter values are coming from for the table function so class and method and step two you have to whatever you define in table function whatever class name and method you define here you have to create those things okay either in se24 or in in hana studio itself i'm going to create in hana studio itself class and methods that is step two and step three it this table function is going to consume in either one or several series views okay so i'm going to do step by step so going to create a table function first then define a class and methods with some functionalities to return the production order details and finally i'm going to create two series views one is going to simply access my table function and here i'm going to access table function with some association as well okay so don't stop your uh, practice only the table function you are going to create a table function try to uh, add the existing whatever we have learned joins associations and everything so that will be very easy to understand clear so now uh, let me get into my system yeah here it is mm. this is my hana studio so let me close everything close all okay now uh, i'm going to create a table function step 1 i'm going to create a table function so right click core data service the same way there is no change how you create a cds view same way you have to create the table function data definition there is a small change in the template while choosing the template at the end of this window you have to choose i am going to create a table function with parameters or with the parameters so now i am going to give a cgi okay i'll just reshort table function tf This is for production orders. Okay. Production orders table function. Okay. Just click next. Excuse me. Choose the transport because I started with the custom um, package. That's why. So here I want to create a table function with parameters. so different table function with parameters just click finish so little change in the syntax compared to your cds view cds view you have lot of annotations in the first lines then you can give what is the sql name and everything so here nothing only end user label is available okay so you're not giving a sql view name because you're not going to access this in any app program so this is going to be accessed in your uh, cds view only so there is no further annotations and here you can give what is a function or table function name and with input parameters so first example i'm going to create without parameters so let me comment it or you can delete it and as i mentioned it has a return parameters okay so return what else you want so here by default it gives a client name and the element name so let me keep the client as it is so here i want the production order so here you have to give the field names of your table function okay okay name and this is a data element which is available in your sc11 okay so data element for my production order is aufnr so and semicolon so the format is this is a user defined name you can give whatever you want colon as mandatory then you have to give the data element or you can give this way also structure dot your field name and this is aufnr and next i'm going to give i want order type order type colon auert semicolon okay done so my expectation is this table function should return production order and order type it can be a multiple values or it can be only one value as well and implemented by method so here you have to give the name of your class this class may be created already or is going to create after this as well it depends on your uh, way how you design it okay like example uh, you have one class and several methods and uh, each table function you are going to create each method so you don't want to create uh, each class for one table function it's not required i have 10 table function for one of the project it's not like i need to create 10 uh, classes instead of that one class 10 different methods you can do it okay so here i'm going to use cgi and this is for 
class for table function okay and the method is get order details so in this scenario uh, this class and methods are not yet created i'm going to create after this and make sure you have activated your table function now the table function is ready it's getting ready yes it's activated successfully okay probably a little down so you're not able to see little more um that's fine it's activated successfully if it is any error you can see the error over here okay so now step one it's over or the step two i have to create the class and methods so i'm going to do the creation in eclipse or hama studio itself or you can go ahead and do it in se24 as well okay right click new only the creation i'm talking about creation of the class and method but most of the sqls are supported in hana studio or eclipse only just a creation yes you can do it but inside the code better you have to do it in hana studio or eclipse so here i'm going to do new abap class okay right click i'm right click on the package new abap class suppose i frequently used it may come if not you can go in the other abap repository object and you can able to find abap class option just click abap class what is the class name so class name i had defined already just come down yeah here it is so cgi class tf and description class for table function next transport finish it's take you to the another tab where it's able to create the class and method Okay. so here i mentioned very clearly the class should be public so i don't want to final and create public i'm going with the minimum options so i'll make sure my class is public yes it's public and i have to create a method and method should be static method so static sorry <laughs> it should be class methods class methods and what is the method name so method name over here is get order details uh oh it's actually detached mm. okay so yeah that also you can do it if you have a big screen a big monitor you can uh, keep in a two uh, different parallel sessions it'll be easy so here it's a little small one so i didn't use it attach and detach you can do it the particular tab so class methods this is a method name and you can give control space and this class or this method is going to create for a table function so you have to mention very clearly this method is for a table function so table function and what is a table function name so copy here and keep it make sure table function is active otherwise or active your uh, class you will get a syntax error so there are some errors it's not implemented actually okay so implementation missing for the method get order details let me implement it so here method and get order details so this method is not a normal method so you need some additional parameters to be included that's very simple uh, you don't want to uh try to remember just give control space bar you'll get only one option this method as by database and for for what for a function or procedure procedure will will see in the uh, following videos now currently we are in function okay so i'm going to create a function this method is for function so you have to say function for hana database language okay so what is the language i'm going to use it over here control space bar sql script and come on okay sql script and finally you have to use okay it's not coming for this version it should be options so whatever method you have to create it should be read only okay and final one is using you have to mention what are the table names you are using inside this method so currently i'm going to use af aufk maybe um it's not initially you have to add it whenever you are trying to add a table name you just come and add it here otherwise you will get a syntax error okay so now i am sure i am going to use only aufk so i am going to use that one clearly so it's it's done 
so end method okay so now almost we are close to the uh, creation of class and method for a table function and still there is some error it's empty okay so here database procedure mdb implementation marked as it okay i missed it okay so it shows very clearly the interface i showed in the table uh, uh, ppt interface we have to add i missed it so here you need to add it interface interface name if amdp marker and hana database stb okay done okay so now it shows it should not be empty so body of the database procedure cannot be empty okay maybe the syntax is same but we are creating a function we are not creating a procedure over here so now i need to fill it so what i'm going to do was i'm going to get select au okay i need three fields right so make sure how many fields how many fields your table function has three fields so it should return your class and method should return three fields otherwise you'll get a uh, syntax error it's saying type mismatch parameter type mismatch i believe i'll show you the error message as well so au okay i want m a n d t m a n d t a u f n r a u a r t from a u f k so this is my okay this is a semicolon this might be the um, syntax what i have to do a u f n r okay so still it shows showing that a uh, return statement should be defined for table function like it's saying uh, syntax error so return statement should be defined what i mentioned table function need a return statement okay so it's very simple just write a return yes i want to return this okay so i want to return these three fields to my table function still there is a error message so it shows very clearly type mismatch very frequent error message once you start working on table function type mismatch okay whatever name you have to mention or here the same name to be mentioned in your return parameter otherwise you will get this error okay so here what the field names are we mean uh, clients production order and order type so i am going to use the same as a alice name because here table field names are different so i'm going to use a alice name client and this is as production order and this is order type as order type from me fk it's done okay so no issues my um table function is ready means table function class and method is ready okay activation is successful so quick overview this is a class and methods for table function class should be public and your method should be static you can try you can remove this public you can remove this class you'll get a syntax error and the interface to be included in your class and the method to be created or declared with the table with the keywords yeah keywords called for table function and table function name and method to be uh, defined or implemented with the help of some supporting um keywords over here by database function for hana database language sql script option is read only using the table names you have to mention here if not you will get a syntax error okay it shows very clearly so using so unable to interrupt okay i'll remove this as well yeah so now you will get the syntax error so aufk is not use unknown so you have to mention so if you use 10 tables you have to mention 10 tables in this line with the help of using keyword okay so um we'll see the same thing maybe probably in the next video uh, now it's ready and you have to return it so return should be there okay you have to return some values to your table function and make sure the names are same whatever name you use you have to use the same name in your return parameter let me act word so done this is a simple way of creating a class and method for a table function okay step 2 as over come to your table function and execute it execute your table function i'm not creating a cds so far just a table function i'm executing it it will give the output of whatever is getting from the method so it's giving production order normally client won't display over here 
so production order and order by clear so step one step two is over now i'm going to create a series view so two series views i'm going to create one i'm going to just simply call the table function next i'm going to call the table function and i'm going to perform some inner join operation as well so let me create a cds new data definition cgi call table function call table function next transport next then this is a normal series right so i can choose the first one define view finish so this sql can be accessed in your abap dictionary or abap program so call table function and here you have to say define view view name as select from the data source is your table function name so go here copy the table function and paste it insert all elements and only two done so there is no change in your uh, output whatever you're saying as an output table function same thing you're going to uh, see here as well just execute it so same thing so this is my cds view output and this is my table function output so it's quite normal so normally we do some other uh, casting or some other options in a cds views okay table function is take all the values almost 90 percent of the values from there and you have to do some manipulations uh, like adding a casting or you have to give some different names to your table we can do it in a cds and next i'm going to create another cds which is going to call my table function I, as i mentioned it can be called more than one cds so here zgi call table function two okay call table function next transport next finish so this is my another cds so cgi call tf Okay, but the table function name is same. So here, paste it. Yeah, probably same. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide or I'm going to add uh, inner join. Okay, with uh, a f k o. Okay, so where the production order should be same. So on condition on if you want you can use the allies name. So I can say allies. This is orders, and this could be not sure it could be operations we'll see okay probably yes f k o the pp or order header okay So because I'm going to take uh, the operation values over here, that's why I mentioned operations over here, that AUFPL. So uh, here the condition is order dot production order. So it comes over here is equal to operation dot AUF and okay. So now I need order number. Okay, let me go. With Then I need uh, AUFPL details. Yes, here I want. Okay, so let me save and act order. So this is not relevant to table function. My intention is once you learn the new concept, try to include whatever we have learned so far. So that will be easy to understand. Uh, you can able to find some difficulties or some syntax. Okay, we can do this, we can't do this. So don't try only table functions. Okay, only particular concept. So now execute this. You will get some additional information over here apart from your table function. So that is AUF PL data. So order, order type, and AUF PL data. Okay. So hope you are able to understand about table function and how to create a simple table function and what are the uh, parameters or what are the informations available over here so in the next i'm going to explain about um, 
table function with input parameter, how to use the input parameter inside your methods and how to call a table function with parameter from the CDS views. Okay, so everything we'll see in the next uh, video and along with that I'm going to show you a lot of SQL uh, functions, uh, scripting codes, internal table concepts, so many things in the next video about the table function. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video.